All right. Bam. All right, there you guys have it. DMG Mori NTX 2000. Let's go take a look in there. All right, let's take a peek in here right quick. All right, so there is the uh, main, I call it a spindle. And then of course it has the, uh, <laughs> the main spindle here. <laughs> I don't know all these technical terms. And that's the uh, sub spindle over there. And of course we have another lower turret down here. And of course, got a Renishaw probe there, there. And up there is the parts catcher, as a matter of fact. So here's the uh, bleed screws down here. So yeah, and it's got a parts changer. So this head right here, is, it rotates, goes in that box right there. And then it's able to come in here and grab a tool. You can see this is the tool changer. All those pockets are for tools. It holds 78 tools and the tool changer, plus it has additional tools that can go on the lower turret. So this machine can be machining, this head can be machining on this spindle or the other one, and this one can be machining at the same time. They can be machining top and bottom, or one can be here, the other one can be there. All kinds of fun stuff. All right, so now they're gonna lift the lathe off of that skid. They're gonna get it off the skid. And then after that, <laughs> somehow get it into that building. Uh, these guys are good, man. That's what they do. Those forklifts look, they don't look as big as they really are. See, that building is 14 feet tall. That should give you a sense of how big that forklift is. One forklift alone cannot pick up this machine, so they need two of them. And I don't know what the capacity is on the forklift, but like I said, I know that machine. Uh, they said it was 52,000 pounds on that machine. I'm sure some of it came off on the crate and all, but it's at least a good 45,000 pounds, so it's pretty heavy. This is still super scary to me. So now they don't even have anything to put it on. I don't know what's next, honestly. Using these uh, dollies, I don't know what they're called. And it appears that they're gonna set the lathe right on them. And uh, I guess that's how they're gonna roll it in. Now, what is that thing called? The roller wheels. Roller wheels. All right, so they have it on the roller wheels here, and uh, they have it on this side. They're just gonna lift it with a forklift and push it in, I imagine. All right, this is legit scaring me. So they're pushing, I don't want to tell them how to do anything obviously, but they're pushing on here, on, against those wheels, and if for any reason, if for whatever reason that thing was to get stuck, this thing would push and, and run, run it right into that right there. So, I'm a bit nervous, to be honest with you. Looks like it's going. Come on. Well, it's just in the building. Uh, I think they're gonna put more of those skids on the bottom. They have that bigger one right there. Maybe that's what they're gonna use next. Forklift went as far as it can go at the moment. 
Look how easy that moves. This floor is taking a beating. Don't forget this floor is less than 24 hours old. And it's holding up really well. Really well. This shop doesn't look so big anymore. Amazing those small wheels to carry that much weight. All right, oh, almost there's... in place. How far off are they? Half an inch. Half an inch? Oh, we cannot accept that. We got 40 and a half here, or 39 and a half there. All right. How far off the back are we? 39 and a half. I'm talking about that way from that wall. Oh. I said 11 feet. Let's see what we got. We have got nine foot five. Nine foot five. So we gotta go that way. A foot and a half. Oh, that's gonna be fun. gonna verify before they leave. I asked for 11 feet from that wall. Look at this, this is crazy. Also, I asked for 40 inches from this other wall. <laughs> this is impressive. This is nuts. Wow. It's amazing that they can move something that big and get it on there that precise. Incredible. All right, now they have to get it off the uh, off those rollers and uh, call it a day, I guess, for them. What happens next is DMG Mori sends one of their techs, and they get get it all unwrapped. The electrician's coming tomorrow. He's going to get it powered up, and they're going to level it. They're going to do everything they need to do, and then we can start making parts. So now those feet right there. That's what the lathe is going to rest on. There's a lot of those, and that's what they're working on over here. They're getting them all in place. Before you put those feet in there, make sure you put some grease in there where the pin is gonna ride. That's gonna make it a lot easier to adjust them. Yeah, you're welcome. Look at this. You're welcome. That's the uh, big boy, right? The 44 Magnum. Yeah, see that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, look at this, Jason. You ain't seen nothing yet, though. Pull that bag on. This is what took a while. This is to the final and last mile. Thank you, Eric and Melissa Cortina. Thanks, man. You're welcome, bro. I appreciate it. There you have it. Got a second machine. <laughs> This is much bigger than the first one. But anyway, I will tell you all about it once it gets up and running. We have some really cool stuff coming your way in 2022. Thank you, stick around, keep them centered. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye-bye.